Stair 200 is a remote control with a thermostat using the touch and play system. It works with a range of Ecomax controllers, giving the complete control from the level of home with no need to go to the boiler. Ecostair has two main functions. First, the control panel of the Ecomax. Here we have the main screen from our Ecomax, in this case Ecomax 800. Also the view of most important parameters. After clicking the encoder we can access the main menu and change the basic parameters of our Ecomax. To go back to Ecostair's main screen we need to press and hold the encoder. Next use for Ecostair is the thermostat. On the main screen of Ecostair 200 we have the temperature in the room, the temperature set for the room, the work mode, day and hour, and here the alt alternating the temperature outside and the fuel level in the boiler they change every 15 seconds. Next we have the schedule set the profile set for the moment P1 the room number that is being operated by Ecostair 200. There can be up to three independent circuits attached to the boiler, operating in three different rooms. To enter the main menu, we click the encoder. The use of the main menu is very simple and intuitive. The most important icon in the main menu is the temperature icon. With Ecostair controller we can set temperatures and schedules for different times of the day in each of the rooms with a thermostat installed. To do so we primarily go to the temperature icon in the main menu. There we have to set three main temperature. The night temperature the temperature that we want to be set at night time. Day temperature, temperature that we want to have in a day, for example 21 degrees, and antifreeze temperature. After that we look for the schedule icon. In the schedule menu we can set different temperatures for different parts of the day. Firstly, we pick the day that we want to set, for example, Monday. In here, we have the possibility of setting the schedule from zero hour to midnight in 30 minutes in intervals. The white line represents the day temperatures and the no line represents night temperatures. So for example if we want our night temperature to go from zero hour to for example 8 a.m. we set it and then from 8 a.m. we can set day temperature till let's say 8 p.m. and again from 8 p.m. we can set night temperature till midnight. Now from 8 p.m. till 8 a.m. the night temperature will be set and in the day we'll have the day, the day temperature. To apply we simply 
press and hold the encoder. To apply our settings, we hold the encoder and after that we move to a menu that allows us to set our set schedule for different days of the week if we want to repeat it. So for example, right now we have our schedule set for Monday. If we want our schedule to be set on the same schedule to be set on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, we simply apply those days. And to accept our settings, we click and hold again. The first icon in the main menu is the type of work icon. After entering, we can choose the type of mode that we want to set. The first mode that we can set is the schedule mode, the most common mode. This mode has been covered in the film earlier. In the economy mode, the temperature will be set as night temperature all day long. In comfort mode, the temperature will be set as day temperature all day long. There are many more modes like outside the home mode, airing mode, party mode, holidays, antifreeze, DHW loading. All these modes are covered in the user manual. The profile icon lets you set separate temperatures and set schedules for each profile. We can set up to four profiles for each user of the controller. So for example, if we have four users in the house, each of the users can set their own profile for their liking. In settings, we set all the technical information. Controller type lets us pick the Ecomax controller that we are using with our remote control. I'll set it for auto. Weather sensor lets us choose if we want the weather sensor settings to work or not. Using the information of the temperature outside and inside, Ecoster can set an optimal temperature on the central heating to obtain the wanted temperature. Next, fuel level. Settings set the possibility of showing the fuel level on Ecoster. Thermostat settings let us switch on the thermostat in different parts of the house to control the temperature separately in each mentioned room. For this to work, we need two extra sensors attached to Ecoster in each of the rooms. Hysteresis sets the hysteresis for the temperature in the room. There we have the temperature correction, language settings, sound alarms, contrast, brightness, time, and very important information. Here we have the basic information about the software of the controller and the hardware. 